sure somebody every day will tell us that, oh, we've been meaning to stop for years. A lot of repeat people will stop in on their way to the beach or to Pensacola or Tallahassee, wherever they're going. See, most people wouldn't think that the place got over 70,000 gallons of cooperage and that we may crush, you know, over a thousand tons of grapes every year. And, you know, it's just a, a pretty sizable operation for this part of the world. We grow two different kinds, Carlos, which is this white grape or bronze, some people call it, and Noble is a red. These differ from the uh, wild muscadines that you see in the, in the woods because these were uh, cultivated for wine production. But they have a lot of the characteristics that you see in the wild grapes. They've got a lot of uh, resistance to disease. You, if you were to try to grow non-native grapes here, it's a real problem because you'd have to spray fungicides every seven to 10 days and after a rain, whereas with muscadine grapes, they're tolerant to these growing conditions because this is where they originated. The stuff that we do for custom crushing, day juice will be shipped out of here usually within a day or so. If it's grapes that go into our um, wine production, we'll settle the juice out to where it's almost as clear as water. We get all the pulp and solids out. Then we go through a, a process called racking. You pump the clear juice off the sediment then we add cultured wine yeast, and uh, the yeast converts the sugar to alcohol. And that process may take a month or longer. We have 15 varieties. We also have a winter berry that's not on the list. It comes out in late October. That's our holiday wine. It's very good. It's white wine, cranberry juice, and holiday spices. The wines now, um, you can buy them here, and we have another winery in Miramar Beach in Destin, and you can buy the wines there, and it's called Emerald Coast Wine Cellar. You can order online, we can ship to you, but the Collegiate Wines, the Champion Series, that will be distributed in Alabama, Georgia, Louisiana, and that's new for us. The Champions, there'll be two series, the Chardonnays and the Merlots. Well, it used to be that uh, people were almost embarrassed about uh, muscadines. Mm -hmm. uh, when, when the winery was first started, uh, some of the ad agency folks that were involved said that, you know, the word muscadine was not even on the, the bottles. You know, they wanted to emphasize the varietal names and kind of de-emphasize the fact that it was made from muscadines, mm -hmm. mainly because, you know, there were a lot of less than stellar wines that were made with that. The, we earned over 100 medals in um, national and international judging. When you were winning medals in Los Angeles and San Diego and San Bernardino and Dallas at the Dallas Morning News and in New York, it's like, well, um, we might be doing something right. It took us a few years to realize that um, we ought to be proud of what, we're, what we grow and what we do the best because it is a niche. We, we feel like it, it's, um, muscadines are not something to be, um, to hide, it's something to, to promote.